Across the US and the world, people are dying after ingesting synthetic drugs intended to mimic the effects of cannabis. And this ongoing public health disaster is a direct result of cannabis prohibition. Synthetic cannabinoids like spice and K2 are often created in labs overseas, shipped to North America, and sold in convenience stores. The chemists creating this fake weed avoid drug laws by repeatedly altering their products with unknown chemicals and no regard for customer safety. In April alone, about 1,000 people contacted poison control after consuming synthetic cannabinoids in the US. Several states have even seen increased deaths and hospitalizations from fake pot. Unlike the real thing, fake cannabis can actually kill its users, cause long-term delusions, violent behavior, seizures, heart attacks, strokes, and kidney and liver damage. Users never know what they're actually getting when they smoke fake weed, so the results vary greatly. If real cannabis was legal, people would have no need to seek out synthetic alternatives, and this public health disaster wouldn't even exist. In fact, according to a study published in the journal Drug and Alcohol Dependence, about 93% of fake pot users say they would rather have the real thing. But with strict prohibition, cannabis users are forced to the black market, or worse, to synthetic drugs that actually kill and cause serious health issues.